Are you for the top 5 best TWS earbuds? In this video, we will look at some of the top 5 best TWS earbuds on the market. For, for more details and price click product link, please check the description below. Before we get started with our video. Number 1. Bose Quiet Comfort Earbuds 2. Bose headphones and earbuds have always skewed toward the more premium end of the price spectrum. And the company's Quiet Comfort Earbuds 2 are no exception, carrying a hefty list price of $299, £279, $429, or $20 more than the original Quiet Comfort Earbuds. While that will put them outside a lot of people's budget for wireless earbuds, their design and voice calling performance are significantly improved from the originals, and they deliver excellent sound and outstanding noise cancelling. Arguably the best out there right now. They are easily among our top current earbuds and a CNET Editor's Choice Award winner. That award came a few months after the release of the Quiet Comfort Earbuds 2 after some internal debate. Most notably the earbuds missing support for the Aptx adaptive audio codec that's compatible with many Android phones and some other devices. But Bose has since announced that Aptx support will be added in the spring of 2023. The Quiet Comfort Earbuds 2 will support the Aptx adaptive codec for audio streaming, including lossless and low latency capabilities, Bose told CNET, and enable more seamless and robust connectivity with premium Android devices. I'll save that value debate for the end of the review after I go through all Quiet Comfort Earbuds 2 strengths, or Quiet Comfort Earbuds II, as Bose calls them, along with a few weaknesses. But if you can afford them, these are certainly strong competitors against Apple's AirPods Pro 2 and Sony's WF1000s, the latter of which have been out for a while and are being aggressively discounted at times. Initially, the buds were only available in black or triple black, as Bose calls it. But you can now also get the in the lighter soapstone color basically off-white, and it's possible Bose releases other special edition colors in the future. More importantly, the earbuds are about 30% smaller than their predecessors. Their case is about 40% smaller and truly pocketable though it's still about 25% to 30% bigger than the AirPods Pro 2 case. The smaller size corrects a big downside of the original Quiet Comfort earbuds, which featured excellent noise cancelling and very good sound quality, but were pretty hefty and protruded from your ears. The new buds each weigh a little less than 0.25 ounces, or 7 grams, according to Bose. Still not svelte but significantly smaller. The other big change is to the ear tips. Bose has ditched its one-piece stay ear wing tips for a two-piece fit kit system that features separate ear tips and stability bands in three size options. That's supposed to give users more flexibility to get a secure fit and tight seal. I like the stayer wingtips, but after trying the new two-piece system, I'm sold on it. I ended up going with the large tips and medium stability band, and that really locked the buds in my ears. I can't tell you that this will fit everyone's ears equally well, but if you're someone who can't get a secure fit with the AirPods Pro 2, which are lighter and quite comfortable to wear, this new two-piece fit kit may be a reason to give the Bose a go over the new AirPods Pro. A handful of new premium earbuds feature a kind of auto custom tune feature that takes into account the shape of your ears and ear canal. Following that trend, Bose has developed a new custom tune sound calibration system that aims to optimize noise cancelling and sound quality for your particular ears. Every time you place the buds in your ears, a proprietary tone is played and a microphone measures your ear canal's acoustic response. It takes about half a second or so, and you definitely notice that the noise cancelling has undergone some optimization. While the design improvements are a nice step forward, the quiet comfort earbuds to really shine on the noise cancelling front. It's really impressive just how much the sound around you is muffled. Bose says it's targeted frequencies that were previously difficult to reduce in the mid and high range, like the voices of nearby co-workers, screaming babies, and family distractions in your home office. I use the buds in my home next to a relatively loud HVAC unit, and the noise cancelling basically silenced it completely. But I was more impressed with how much sound it reduced when I walked the streets and rode the subway in New York City. You can still hear people's voices, but they seem to be muffled by about 60% and maybe even slightly more. It's a little startling when you take the buds out of your ears or put them into transparency mode. Bose calls it a wear mode and realize how much sound is being filtered out. 
And yes, that transparency mode is also improved. It does sound more natural and lifelike. The best transparency modes, like that of the AirPods Pro, make it seem as if you're not wearing earbuds and can hear the world as it would sound without earbuds in your ears. These do a good job of getting you close to that sensation. While the drivers appear to be the same or very similar to those found in the original Quiet Comfort earbuds, Bose reps told me that thanks to the custom tune technology, the sound is noticeably improved with more nuance, clarity, depth, and better accuracy. And that's pretty much what you'll hear if you were to compare these to the originals. Everything is a little more clear and natural sounding. Their predecessors also had relatively big sound, and by that time mean they have a pretty wide sound stage. But the bass has a bit more definition and punch, and there's a bit more detail and separation between instruments, so you can hear them more distinctly. I also thought they had just the right amount of warmth, particularly with both men's and women's vocals. Their tonal balance is overall very good. While software and advanced algorithms play a big part in the quiet comfort ear buds to performance, they feature four microphones in each bud, two of which are beam forming microphones to focus on picking up your voice. Voice calling performance was a weak point in the original Quiet Comfort earbuds, and Bose has clearly made an effort to improve it with better noise reduction and voice pickup during calls. I think it's significantly better now you can hear a sample call in my companion video review. As for battery life, it's rated at 6 hours with noise cancelling on, that's the same as the new AirPods Pro 2, and you get about 3 extra charges from the new trim down charging case which features USB-C charging, but not wireless charging. That latter shortfall is a bit unfortunate since most earbuds in this price range, including the AirPods Pro 2, feature wireless charging. Like their predecessors, the Quiet Comfort earbuds 2 are splash-proof with an IPS rating. They also have similar touch controls with a swipe gesture for volume control that I like. I thought the touch controls worked well and they are slightly customizable in the companion app for iOS and Android, you have the option to select certain shortcuts. As for Bluetooth flavors, these are equipped with Bluetooth 5.3. They use the AAC and SBC audio codecs, but currently have no support for Qualcomm's Aptx adaptive audio codec. Or multi-point Bluetooth pairing, I manually switched between an iPhone 13 Pro and a Galaxy Z Flip 4. In theory, you may be able to get slightly better audio quality, if you use a device like an Android phone that supports Aptx Adaptive and wirelessly stream high-resolution music files using services like Tidal, Amazon Music, and Koboos that deliver high-resolution music. I was disappointed by that, particularly by the lack of multi-point Bluetooth pairing. But there's some hope that may change in the future. That's because a Bose rep told me these earbuds are equipped with a 5-series Qualcomm chip. That chip supports multi-point Bluetooth pairing and has aptX support, which Bose now says is coming in 2023, so I think there's a decent chance we'll see multi-point Bluetooth pairing added in the future and perhaps other features. Bose didn't mention anything about Bluetooth audio lay and AuraCast, a new Bluetooth audio broadcasting technology that's coming to earbuds and headphones. But some new earbuds, like the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, are listed as being ready for lay audio. It's worth noting that while the noise cancelling is of the adaptive variety, you can adjust its levels between three settings. Also, the earbuds have adjustable equalizer settings so you can tweak the sound profile. And finally, you can use a single bud independently and leave the other one in the charging case, though certain touch controls are available only on the right bud. Now, Earfin Air S. In the past, we've recommended Earfin's Air Pro SV and Air Pro 2 as excellent budget, Noise cancelling earbuds choices, they are still good till good values. But the new for 2022 Earfin Air S may be the best of the trio. With multi point Bluetooth pairing, the latest Qualcomm QCC3046 SOCH system on a chip, with the Aptx audio codec for Android and other devices that support it. It has the same 10mm wool drivers as the Air Pro SV and features surprisingly impressive sound for its modest price point. They also work well as a headset for making calls with decent background noise reduction. The buds have an IPX5 water resistance rating, which means they're splash proof and can withstand a sustained spray of water. Note that the earbuds cost as low as $49 when you activate the instant coupon and apply the CNET exclusive discount AirPods Pro 2, available for pre-order now and shipping sept. 23. 
the new AirPods Pro second generation are powered by Apple's new H2 chip, which delivers more processing power while being more energy efficient, according to Apple. The new chip, combined with new Lotus Toshin drivers, allows for improved sound that offers better clarity and depth. The noise cancelling is also improved. Apple says the new AirPods have doubled the noise cancelling of the original AirPods Pro. Additionally, the new AirPods add an extra hour of battery life, up from 5 to 6 hours with noise cancelling on, plus a speaker in the case that emits a sound that helps locate your buds via Find My should they decide to hide from you. Note that while Apple has discontinued the original AirPods Pro, they'll remain on sale at discounted prices until supplies are exhausted. However, most people should get this newer model if they can afford it. If they can afford it. Number 4. Earphone Air Pro 2 The Earphone Air Pro 2 not only features solid active noise cancellation, but their sound is also impressive for their relatively modest price. With overall well-balanced sound, decent clarity, and solid bass performance, some of Earphone's buds have had a bit too much treble push, sometimes referred to as presence boost, but these mostly manage to avoid that. They just sound better than the original Air Pro. The earbuds have some extra features, like an ear detection sensor, your music pauses when you take the buds out of your ears, and a case that has USB-C and wireless charging that you don't often find at this price. Equipped with Bluetooth 5.2, they are splash-proof with an IPX5 rating and offer up to 7 hours of battery life on a single charge at moderate volume levels, though you'll probably get closer to 6 hours with noise cancelling on. There's also a transparency mode that lets ambient sound in. It actually sounds pretty natural and is closer than I thought it would to the AirPods Pro's excellent transparency mode. Alas, there's no companion app that allows you to tweak the sound or upgrade the firmware. Earfin talks up the AirPro 2 voice calling capabilities. The buds have three microphones in each earbud. And I thought call performance was good, but these didn't reduce. Background noise as much the new sound peats to three, which are also good for the money $40. However, while the sound peats T3 are better for calls, the Earfin Air Pro 2 noise cancelling and transparency modes are superior. And the sound peats don't have the ear detection sensor. Plus, the Earfin Air Pro 2 buds sound better, with richer, more dynamic sound. Also note that you can save $20 right now at Amazon by activating the instant coupon on the product page. Number 5. Jabber Elite 7 Pro Coming in at 16% smaller than the Elite 75T. The Elite 7 Pros are Jabber's top-of-the-line earbuds in its new range and include the company's new multi-sensor voice technology with a bone conduction sensor four microphones and intelligent algorithms to deliver new groundbreaking call quality, Jabra says. The voice calling performance doesn't quite live up to the hype, but Jabra has updated the Buds firmware, adding multi-point Bluetooth pairing and slightly improving sound quality, noise cancelling, and headset performance. It took a while but they're now excellent all-around Buds. These have adjustable active noise cancellation, Jabra's hard through transparency mode and Bluetooth 5.2. They offer up to 9 hours playtime at moderate volume levels with noise cancelling on, and nearly 3 additional charges in the charging case. Total battery life is rated at 35 hours. The charging case has wireless charging capabilities. The earbuds IP57 rating means they can be submerged in up to 1 meter of water. For those who like to use only a single bud, you can also use either bud independently in a mono mode. 